Hey everyone, it's Moon Math Goddess. Welcome back to the channel if you're returning. Welcome if you're new and welcome to today's pick a card reading. Today we are getting messages from spirit, messages that are meant to find you at this time, what you need to know right now, um, hopefully getting some guidance for you in all areas of your life, no matter what it is that you may be currently going through, dealing with decisions that you're wanting to make. So messages that are meant to find you. Um, I'm specifically focusing um, with spirit today to make sure that the messages um, and those of you that are being led to watch this reading today are able to find the messages that you need to hear today, right now, whenever it is that you click on this video. This is a timeless reading. So whenever you you know, come upon this and you are drawn to one of the piles, multiple piles, all the piles, um, then those are the messages that are meant for you at this time. So what messages are meant to find you right here, right now? What do you need to know? What messages does spirit have for you? So we're going to do three piles today. Pile number one, you are going to be this clear quartz crystal for pile number one. Pile number two, you are going to be this fire quartz point for pile two. And then pile number three, you are going to be the amethyst crystal for pile three. So pause the video if you need a little bit more time. Once again, messages that are meant to find you right now. What do you need to know? If you feel drawn to more than one pile, that's perfectly okay. Like I said, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you watch this reading, those are the messages that are meant for you at this time. Timestamps will be down below in the description box as well as pinned to the comments. And I will see you guys at your reading. Hi, Pal One. So for those of you that resonated with the Clear Quartz Crystal, this is going to be a reading today. So I did pull one oracle um, for you guys, and then we're going to be moving into tarot as well as additional oracle messages. We are going to get started with this message for you for what messages that are meant to find you um, at this time. So we have the card number 36, Manifestia. So this is about manifestation um, and this is about sowing the seeds of your dreams, creating your reality and trusting that what it is that you desire is already happening. Um, and this is about you following what your wishes, your dreams are, you choosing how you want to live um, and letting you know that the universe is supporting you. So dream big is really the message for this card. Um, this is about you really, um, I feel like stepping into your power and about you, you know, uh, allowing your creative energy or whatever it is that you're wanting to manifest, um, envisioning your success in that and helping you to kind of bring these, um, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest into fruition for you. So this is all about you being in control, you planting the seeds for what it is that you are wanting to accomplish for yourself or your life, whatever that may be, okay? So some very powerful manifestation energy, and this is really what spirit is wanting you um, to focus on right now. So many of you may be really working on manifesting something really powerful for yourself. Um, you know, you could be currently working on something or trying to manifest love, a new career, a new career path. So let's go into your tarot now for messages that are meant to find you at this time. What are you needing to know right now? So let's see for pile number one. What are you needing to know at this time? Okay, so we do have the Eight of Air, which is the Eight of Swords. We 
We also have the Knight of Air. What do you need to know right now? Okay. So we also have um, card number 13, Release, which is the Death card. And then we also have the Three of Fire, which is the Three of Wands. And let's get two more. What are you needing to know most right now? So we do have the Eight of Fire. This was kind of coming out in reverse, so I'm going to kind of uh, hold on to that and just kind of look at this energy as a whole. We also have the Seven of Cups in reverse here as well with the Seven of Water. Okay, so the first thing that I am noticing, and I'm seeing that we do have the Page of Earth underneath the deck, which is the Page of Pentacles. Um, as your overall energy. Okay, so we've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We do have a Scorpio energy here. We've also got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay, which are the energies that are coming through this strongest. So with the Page of Pentacles as your overall energy here, this is really about spirit wanting you to focus on creating something new. The Page of Pentacles is kind of like this eagerness that we feel to begin something new, start a new project, you know, start down a new path, or even, you know, maybe start a new relationship. So those of you that are really wanting to manifest love, this is really spirit saying, this is about a new beginning for you. Okay. Um, and those of you that are kind of working towards career, you know, money, um, self-employment, a new job, whatever that may be, the Page of Pentacles is a beautiful energy to kind of uh, begin it or start it and, and just kind of put forth planting the seed. So being that we do have Manifestia here, which I said is about you um, planting the seeds um, for whatever it is that you are working on manifesting, the Page of Pentacles is that perfect energy because this really is that your soul right now is urging you or calling you to begin something new, start something new. Um, and then the message at the bottom of this page of pentacles says, good news about financial matters, um, wanting to do something more challenging or a new area of study. So like I said, some of you may feel a call to begin something new, start something new. The only, not so much negatives, but I feel like more so blockages for you, pile number one, are your own thoughts. Okay, and I'm saying that because we do have the Eight of Air here, which is the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords can be when we are overthinking things, you know, overanalyzing. We're filled with a lot of maybe negative thoughts or um, anxiety. Um, and that can kind of keep us stuck. Okay, the Eight of Swords message says an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence and afraid to take action. Okay. So there's something that you're wanting to manifest here, but it could be that you that there are there's something holding you back. And those can even be self-limiting beliefs that are holding you back, right? Your own thoughts, your own belief system that is that is preventing you. And that could be going to negative self-talk. It could be feeling I'm not good enough. I won't be successful with that. It could be a fear of failure, right? So many different things here. So we have the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Air here. And it says events that occur with great speed take time to carefully review your options and creative solutions. The Knight of Swords is all about action. This is about quick decisions, quick thinking, um, and, and taking the lead, right? Um, so this is clearly where spirit is wanting you to focus on removing yourself and be more mindful of where your thoughts are at with that Eight of Swords. And really working on taking action the way that you really need to focus as you are manifesting here. And then we have the uh, release card, which like I said, is the devil. Um, I'm sorry, not the devil, the death card. Um, but release in this deck. And it says the end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation and time to move on. So there's something that you're needing to change or start or begin something new. There is some type of ending here with the death card. 
Um, and the death card also brings about transformation. So there can also be transformation that you personally are going through, or you could find that there is something that you want to let go of, something that you may feel no longer serves you and you are wanting to make different plans for your future, right? So that death card is gonna kind of bring an end to something here. And that could be the way that you're thinking. Um, for those of you that are wanting to start something new with the Page of Pentacles, this could be that you are changing career paths or you're opening your own business or you're you know, um, investing your time and energy into a new project, whatever that may be, okay? Then we also have the Three of Wands energy. And the Three of Wands, is really about um, waiting for your ships to come in, meaning that many of you have already worked on manifesting something or many things into your life. And that three of wands is just kind of waiting for that manifestation to kind of show up here. But the three of wands message is also for you not to be afraid to take that first step, okay? Because with the three of wands energy here, this is really spirit saying that you have so much potential within yourself to uh, manifest whatever this is that you're wanting. And I'm also seeing all of these stars um, in this card here as well. We have these butterflies, we have stars, we have flowers. And to me, the flowers are this symbol of, of, of birthing ideas or creativity, bringing things into being. And with the stars that are also here, to me, this is about you continuing to hold faith and trust in what it is that you're manifesting into your life. And so you may also be working on transforming your thoughts, right? Moving away from any thoughts that are kind of not helping you to get to what your goal is, what it is that you're truly um, wanting at this time. So the three of wands says abundance and it says things look very good, have patience at this time and also making long-term plans. So this is also spirit wanting you to focus on looking ahead, right? Looking ahead, planning ahead, because whatever it is that you're doing, planting the seeds right now and taking that action towards it, you are going to manifest these things into your life. Some of you with the seven of cups energy here in reverse, the seven of cups can sometimes be when we feel very overwhelmed by many different opportunities, many different options. For some of you, it can even be many different passions that you have and you feel like you're torn in so many different directions and we feel overwhelmed. We can't focus on just one thing. So that seven of cups energy can leave us very clouded. We're not able to think clearly. We're not able to see clearly. So another message here that I'm also getting for you, pal one, is to remember to keep yourself grounded, especially if you feel like your energy is a little bit off, you're kind of thrown off balance, or you feel like you you feel a little bit of a disconnect with spirit this is a need for for uh reflection a need for meditation quiet and really spending some time to truly listen to what your soul is calling you to do and sometimes we get so you know focused on everything that's kind of going on in our life and we feel like we're just kind of rushing through and we don't know what's what we don't know you know what's happening next and we're just go 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 so that seven of cups energy, being that it is coming in in the reverse, to me is more so that you're needing to kind of focus on one thing, right? Because all of the ideas that you may have, you know, many of them can be really good ideas, but then, you know, there could also be lots of opportunities that are available to you, right? So this is also a time to be very discerning, to choose carefully, right? And to also not being afraid of making a decision because even if it turns out to say not be exactly you know the thing that you want right that doesn't mean that you are stuck there that doesn't mean that you should reflect you know um upon yourself as someone who's not able to make good choices or that your you know intuition is off right what matters is that you actually had the courage to be able to try something new, do something new, step outside of your comfort zone and to kind of make that decision that you need to make. So with the seven of cups energy here, it says a complex decision, the need to do research and stop procrastinating. Okay, stop procrastinating. But with that seven of cups coming in in the reverse, I feel like this is really spirit wanting you to focus on one thing. Okay, because some of you may say, okay, I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to do this. And 
you feel overwhelmed by so many different directions, so many different paths, so many things that you want to manifest. But when we keep ourselves stuck in that in that energy of indecision or, you know, not taking the action that we need to, this leads to stagnancy. Okay, so really this is spirit wanting you to focus on at least one of those things that you feel intuitively that you are meant to be doing at this time. Okay, whatever that may be. Um, it could even feel for some of you, you can feel like you don't have an option or you're out of choices or that there's, you know, no opportunities that are surrounding you, right? So this is going to be a need for transforming those thoughts because if you are, say, not really enjoying the reality that you are living right now, this is spirit saying you have the power to change it, right? It's time to start planning ahead, start thinking about what it is that you truly want here. And so this eight of fire, eight of wands was also coming out in the reverse. And the eight of wands can be about quick action, movement, um, change, um, travel. Um, this says events moving at a fast pace, delays are over and many things happening at once. Okay. But since this is coming out in reverse as well, to me that this, there are delays that spirit saying that you are delaying doing something, taking action here. So this is where I feel like with this eight of swords energy here, this is time for a spirit to say in a way, get out of your head, right? Get out of your head so that you can really focus. You can focus on, on what your, your plan is for the future with that three of wands. What is it that you're really wanting at this time? And for some of you with that death card energy here, it may mean that there are some changes that you have to make. There are some adjustments, right? This is you kind of looking at what commitments you currently have at this time and making the decision to let go of anything that doesn't really serve you, okay? And right underneath that page of pentacles, I'm seeing the nine of air, which is the nine of swords. And it says, expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies and sleepless nights. This is anxiety. This is fears. This is worries. This is, you know, thinking way ahead in the future and it can be a lot of negative thoughts right this isn't going to work i'm not going to be able to do this i can't make this happen you know whatever that may be so this is time for action this is time for change this is time for movement with this energy here and taking a look at whatever you know situation kind of needs to come to an end whether it's thoughts or there is someone or something situation that you're currently dealing with that you're needing to bring to an end so that you are able to gain the clarity that you need to uh, put that action to what it is that you're working on manifesting here. Okay, so let's go into our Oracle messages here. So Kyle one, what messages are meant to find you at this time? What messages? Okay, so we have Lord Shiva and it says transcendence and it says rise up, honor your inner force, steps are being given, dance with the universe, right? So this is already spirit saying that they, your ancestors, spirit guides, angels, whatever you connect with, God, universe, mother, earth, Gaia, that you are being given clues, hints, signs, synchronicities, messages from spirit to really help you, to guide you at this time. Um, so you are meant to really find your power within yourself to be able to kind of get yourself out of any type of stuck or stagnant energy and to kind of bring anything to an end. This is a lot of profound uh, transformation for you. We also have the white eagle ancestor spirit here and it says connect to your lineage a family wound or pattern can be healed now okay so many of you with the uh, white eagle here may also have some indigenous uh, native um, background here as well okay so this is really spirit saying regardless if, if it's native or indigenous um, this is really spirit saying connect to your lineage connect to your ancestors um, and for many of you, we have a family wound here or a pattern can be healed now. So this can be also clearing, time to clear ancestral karmic cycles, right? Let's just say that you're, I'm just going to use this as an example, that you, 
you were raised with a scarcity mindset. You were raised with the poverty mindset, right? There, there is a lack of abundance, right? So you raised in that way of thinking that when you go through life, that you constantly feel like there's never going to be enough money because that's where you were raised. And that is something that may come from mom and dad. It can even come from grandparents, right? Or it can even be, uh, you know, a family history of, of abuse or addiction or anything that has you've noticed by looking into your lineage, any type of pattern of behavior. Like if you say, okay, well, um, mom or dad was, was someone who was more disempowered. They you know, they struggled throughout their life or they were never able to make their dreams come true. And, you know, grandparents may have been that same way. This is really you being the change in your lineage. Um, so this is powerful energy. Okay, pile one, powerful energy. So whatever these familial wounds may be or any patterns, right? If you, like I said, if you had maybe say uh, parents or grandparents that never finished school, never finished college, and you are kind of like that generation that is changing the whole course of your family line and generations to come where you are feeling, you know, strong and, and, and um, courageous to be able to pursue your goals because you realize that you have the power to create the reality that you're wanting. OK, so this is a powerful energy here. It's almost like spirit is saying it's time to level up, which is kind of what I'm getting uh, from this energy here. Okay, so let's see what else. Pile number one. What messages are meant to find you at this time? All right, Spirit is saying, rise up, honor your inner force. The steps are being given to you, but it's sometimes we, our own thoughts, drown out what our intuition is telling us, right? Spirit is constantly communicating with us in many different ways through our intuition, through dreams, through synchronicities, through um, meetings that we have with people, right? Friends, new people that come into our lives um, that are drawn to us or that we feel drawn to, right? The universe is constantly in communication. So what messages are meant to find you at this time? We have, what do you desire? And it says, you now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. Once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you're ready and deserving of them, they'll rush into your life as if by magic. Okay. So we also have to, you know, look at us, uh, not feeling that we are not worthy of success, of abundance, of love, or whatever it may be, right? We have to, know that we are deserving of all of these things that we are that we are manifesting into our life okay so let's see what else what messages are meant to find you at this time pile number one what messages are you meant to hear we have innocence <clears throat> and it says beloved one everyone is guiltless in truth and no one can alter God's handiwork of perfection. Give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load. Give us any guilt, anger, or blame that may shroud your loving outlook. Enjoy the peace within your heart once more. Okay, so we've already got this healing message here for you. So some of you, this is about maybe for some of you, it could be healing any type of child childhood wounds. Um releasing any resentment, guilt, shame, doubt, fear, anger, anything that may be kind of blocking you from fully stepping into alignment with that which you are seeking within your life. Okay, let's see what else. Pile one. We have an opportunity to forgive. Okay, so there's a there's a big message for those of you that chose this pile for some type of forgiveness. And it's something within your family lineage, maybe something that has been kind of happening. Okay. Ancestral karmic cycles. I'm feeling, um, opportunity for give. It says the situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow, and release negative patterns. Hold the intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness. 
We will help you release unforgiving thoughts, feelings, and energies and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion, okay? So this can be directly related to someone that you may currently be dealing with in your life or it could even be something that you've experienced with another person in the past, okay, in which you're still holding on to some heavy energy, right? So this is going to be a need for clearing that energy because this may also be something that is, for some of you, throwing you off balance, blocking manifestations, um, or, or kind of related in a way that has taken your confidence away, your self-esteem away, your self-worth, your worthiness. And once you really heal and clear this energy, you are truly stepping into your power so that you feel strong, you feel confident, you believe in yourself, okay? Which is really important, especially when you are working on manifesting. So let's see what else, pile number one, what messages are meant to find you. We have leap of faith and it says take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action, okay? So this, again, is really spirit saying there is action that is required. There's something that you're needing to create or start or plant the seed for something new. And this is spirit really wanting you to learn to trust in the uncertainty, trust in the unknown, and whatever it is that you're really wanting or feeling called to, passions, desires, this is really spirit wanting you to just go after it. Let's see. What messages? Okay, so we have two more. We have Bridget or Brigitte with don't back down. And it says stand up for what you believe is right. Okay, so this can also be for some of you if you're needing to set boundaries with people. Okay, to really kind of stand your ground, you know, especially if there's someone currently in your life or that you may currently be dealing with that may be crossing certain boundaries, right? This is really about you persevering or you know if it's a situation that you feel in some way is kind of challenging you right this is you not backing down with going after what it is that you want right even if you are met with resistance or even if you're met with a door that is closed try another door right just don't give up on what your goals are we also have uh, Yamania here and it says golden opportunity Look at this. Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. Okay. So this is really spirit saying there are going to be opportunities. If, you know, if you're not really seeing them quite yet, then these ones are going to be ones that are there for you, um, that you're needing, really need to trust your intuition with where you're being guided, where you're being led. And once you see that that door is open, taking that leap of faith, right? Not giving up on what your dreams are, goals are in this situation so let's see what else pile number one what messages are meant to find you we have tiger's eye self-confidence through god confidence so some of you are needing to really you know maybe um work on finding more confidence within yourself okay and that can be a lot of inner work healing um that you may need to do right we have believe in yourself by believing in God working through you, okay? So God, spirit, universe, whatever you connect with, you're finding confidence through the divine, okay? Believing that spirit is, is working through you to help you to manifest the things that you're truly wanting in your life, the things that you are desiring. What messages are meant to find you? Pile number one. We have yellow jasper and it says control issues and it says utilize your god-given strength and power instead of fearing that others may try to control you okay so yeah i'm definitely seeing uh not only the healing energy here but also if you have someone around you that is trying to i almost feel like for some of you maybe even uh steer you off your path okay but this is really about you finding your power, taking your power back, right? Especially if you've handed it over to another person or to another situation, this is you reclaiming that power and strength within yourself, right? And not allowing a situation outside of yourself to keep you in a place of fear. So let's see what else, pile one, what messages are meant to find you? 
for pile number one. What messages are you meant to hear? Look at this. We have get active. Okay. So that's kind of what we're seeing here in this pile is some type of action that you're needing to take. For some of you, it can even be taking better care of yourself, right? If you're wanting to do a new workout routine or to eat healthier, right? That can be going for a walk, spending time in nature, you know, an exercise routine. Let's see. What messages are you meant to hear? We have talk to someone you trust. Okay. And this could be about your goals, your dreams, your desires, um, anything that you are trying to align yourself with. Okay. This can also be strengthening a bond or a connection that you do have uh, with another person. We also have self-love. Okay. Which is also something spirit is wanting to focus on, which may really help you, especially when you start to kind of build up your self-esteem, your confidence, your self-worth. Like I said, your worthiness to success, to love, to anything that you are wanting to manifest um, in your life. Let's see what messages are meant to find pile number one at this time. What are they meant to hear? The most important messages for pile number one. Action. Wow. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It says now is the perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dreams. Move forward with confidence. Okay. Move forward with confidence, which is really what spirit is wanting. We've already seen multiple messages here about action that is required, right? This is spirit really wanting you to be confident enough to trust that wherever it is that you're being led on your path, adjustments to your path, directions that you're feeling pulled or called to, whether that is moving, changing jobs, changing careers, changing relationships, whatever that may be, right? Now is the time for action. Now is the time to act. Be confident in yourself um, to achieve these things. Let's see what else. We have strength, okay? So another message about strength. And it says this challenge will make you stronger, you will get through to the other side. Look for the gifts in the situation. So those of you that may feel like you're being faced with adversity, challenge, struggle, changes, um, things that are ending in your life with that death card energy that we saw as well, right? This is really spirit saying that these situations that you're currently going through are and will make you stronger, that you will be able to see you know, the light at the end of the tunnel, you will be able to get on the other side of the rainbow, however you want to look at that. But this is for you to kind of, even if it is a, a difficult or challenging situation that you're going through, whether it is something that's happening within yourself, like your mindset, or if there's a situation outside of yourself, this is spirit saying, look for the gifts, look for the hidden blessings within the situation. And sometimes that's really hard for us to do, to see how can I see this in a positive light, right? But every experience that we go through is meant to serve a higher purpose for us. And we may not understand it when we're going through it. And we may not understand until we're kind of like on the other side to where we really start to see, okay, what did I learn from this? Where can I, you know, be better, do better, create better, manifest better? What choices did I make that have led me to this place where I could be feeling super proud of myself and happy, or I could be feeling like, you know, maybe I, I didn't give enough effort or I allowed my thoughts to control me. I allowed my old ways of thinking. I allowed this person or this situation to throw me off, right? So you're looking at what the blessings are in the situation so that you can find your way out of darkness or, or feeling lost or whatever that may be for you. Okay, so we're going to get last messages for you. Pile number one messages that are meant to find you at this time. What is pile number one needing to hear at this time? We have goddess of the earth and it says an idea connected to imagination, creativity in nature is coming your way. Okay, 
So some of you that may feel like you don't quite know, you don't quite have clarity on what that new idea, that new project, that new passion, that new whatever it may be that you're meant to move towards, this is Spirit saying that you are going to gain the clarity that you need. The divine is working to get these messages to you to help you to align with your path. Okay, to align with your path here. So let's see. Let's get a couple more. What messages are meant to find you? We have goddess of knowledge and it says start to apply what you already know. Trust your intuition. Okay. So profound a message there about trusting and acting. We also have angel of clearing and it says your time of waiting and confusion will soon be over. Right. So this is really spirit saying that if you are feeling a little bit blocked or a lot blocked, um, not really sure about what's next on your path. There is this clearing. There is this um, clarity that you will be receiving. Okay, so be open to the signs. Pay attention to what your your intuition is is guiding you. We also have Angel of the Universe, and it says you are being encouraged to expand your thinking. Okay, so this may include thinking outside the box, right? Stepping outside of our comfort zone, breaking away from old patterns of thinking and behaviors. So that we're able to kind of look at our situation, what we want for the future with fresh eyes, right? And sometimes that's really just a need, like I said earlier, to just take a pause, take a break, ground yourself so that you're able to kind of come back even stronger with this powerful forward movement for yourself. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here for you. Pile number one, I hope that this was helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, Path 2. So for those of you that resonate with the Fire Quartz Crystal, this is going to be a reading. So I did pull an Oracle message for you guys just to get started off with your pile. Um, and then we're going to be moving into our uh, tarot and then we'll be pulling some additional Oracle cards um, to see what messages are meant to find you at this time. So we're starting off with the uh, Soul Star Chakra which is card number 10, and it says merging with the divine. So this card um, is really about you finding that balance between the spiritual realm and the physical realm. This is really spirit wanting you to focus on finding that divinity and that interconnectedness with spirit within yourself so that you're not feeling that spirit is separate from you or God is separate from you however you choose to resonate with that. This is about transcendence, letting go, and really about you remembering by tuning into your intuition. Many of you have, you know, who do believe in past lives have lived in many different uh, lifetimes, dimensions, um, and this is about you kind of merging all of that wisdom and that knowledge that you've learned from past lives and being able to kind of tune into that energy so that you are able to find that oneness within the self, realizing that you are an infinite being and you have the ability to expand your awareness beyond space and time. Um, so this can be, you know, helping you to really, maybe even by meditating, those of you that meditate, to really find that energy this is really spirit also in some way kind of helping you with your ascension process helping you to grow to evolve into the most authentic version of you the you that was meant to be here on earth at this time so you kind of stepping into your true self right unpacking all of the wounds the healing that needs to happen um, and finding really through that that divinity divinity within the within the self okay so all about merging with the divine at this time that's where spirit is really wanting you to focus okay so let's go into your tarot here pile number two what messages are meant to find you at this time we have the five of air which is the five of swords We have the five of water. Wow. Okay. So with the fives energy here with the tarot, this can be talking about some type of change, 
some type of challenge, um, something that you may currently be going through. Okay, so let's see what else is coming out here. Pile number two, what messages are meant to find you at this time? Some of you are healing, I feel like, with this five of cups here. We have the page of pentacles. We have the queen of cups. What messages is pile number two needing to hear at this time? What is this here? We have card number 16, which says life experience. This is the tower. Okay, so let's get one more. What messages is pile number two? meant to hear at this time and then we also have the eight of water which is the eight of cups okay and i am seeing the ace of air which is the ace of swords underneath the deck as your overall energy so the ace of swords is about clarity it is about some type of breakthrough for you being able to see things clearly um, it could be some type of new idea new inspiration um, being able to focus, being able to see things clearly, a situation for what it is, a relationship for what it is, or to help you to really be able to make some type of decision. Okay. So with this ace of air, it says a brilliant new idea, inspiration, seeing the truth of a situation and a challenging beginning. Okay. Um, what else do we have here? We've got... Like I said, the five of air, the five of water, um, with these two energies here, the five of swords can be some type of conflict that you could be currently dealing with within yourself. It could even be that there is some type of conflict that you're dealing with with another person, okay? Um, the five of swords can sometimes be about self-sabotaging types of thoughts, conflicting thoughts, um, and the card here says an unwise choice Learn what you can from this situation and review everyone's motives. Um, so this can be any type of self-limiting beliefs that you might have that could be blocking you from progressing or moving forward along your path. Um, we also have the five of water here, the five of cups. And it says things not turning out the way you'd hoped, not seeing the positive in a situation or crying over spilled milk. The five of cups energy can sometimes be pretty heart heavy energy that we have um some of you being that we do have the tower energy here this could have been that you have gone through some major change or there are some major changes that you're needing to make okay i am seeing the eight of water here the eight of cups so this may mean a letting go or moving on from something that is no longer serving you um, with the eight of water here it says a desire to move on the search for something more meaningful and spiritual and emotional growth, okay? The Eight of Cups energy is really about setting out on a journey of self-discovery. We're letting go of things that are not serving, that are kind of uh, not serving our highest good, whether that is a job, a relationship, a friendship. Um, and so you may feel, like I said, with the two fives here, you could be feeling very challenged at this time. Or there could be uh, seeing some changes. Some of you may even be seeing synchronistic numbers like 555, five, five, um, things like that, that you may be kind of noticing as well. Um, and the Five of Cups can, like I said, it can be very heart heavy energy. It can be feelings of sadness, pain, loss, grieving, disappointment, regret, guilt, shame, anything that we're, we're kind of holding on to here. And so, with the Eight of Cups, this desire to move on or letting go from something, like I said, it can be about anything, right? And you may gain that clarity with this Ace of Swords about what that may be for you, right? This, the Tower energy um, can kind of give us a little bit of a shakeup in our life, in our world. Sometimes that Tower moment can happen and that can be like a loss of a job, a loss of a relationship, you know, something pretty 
challenging that we're going through. It can make us feel like our life is, is, is feeling very chaotic, filled with turmoil. Um, but that tower energy is really the divine's way of protecting us and removing things out of our life that are not meant to be there, right? Sometimes we, we hold on to friendships, relationships, jobs longer than they are serving us, right? And so to really help us to get aligned with where we're meant to be, the universe will send us many signs um, for us and, you know, with through our intuition or through uh, synchronistic uh, numbers or meetings and connections with new people that are coming into our life. And those are all messages to kind of help us to guide us along. And sometimes we ignore those things. Sometimes we don't notice them. We have no awareness of them. The tower energy kind of comes into kind of the divine's way of, of helping us to align us with where we're meant to be. So if you notice that you're feeling this pull or this urge to let something go, move on from something, something that may have been very challenging. Some of you, it could be that you did go through something, you know, uh, traumatic or chaotic or, you know, something that caused a lot of upheaval within your life. This is time to, you know, for it to kind of flow with that change that spirit is kind of bringing in for you. Okay. That tower energy can definitely be like a huge awakening an epiphany, a realization that you have, maybe even of something that you're needing to let go of. And I'm also feeling here because you do have the page of earth, the page of pentacles, that this is also that your soul is at this time is really urging you to begin or start something new. Okay. And so you may kind of gain that clarity, especially if there's been something that you've been kind of putting your energy towards and it's been kind of maybe feeling unfulfilling for you or you've been kind of stuck in an old pattern of behavior, a way of thinking that you were kind of breaking yourself free from those types of energies that are not serving you on your path. You also have the Queen of Water here, which is the Queen of Cups. Um, and so with the Queen of Cups energy here, this can also be about you maturing emotionally. It can also be your intuition strengthening where you are, you know, um, super tuned into your creative energy, kind of more of that energy of flow. Um, I'm also feeling this message here for you, pile number two, of an, especially for those of you that are going through something difficult or challenging or painful, there is a need for nurturing. There is a need for self-care, self-love, being kind to yourself during this time and really working through any of those feelings or those emotions that you have at this time that you feel are kind of keeping you stuck. And I feel like that is why you have the soul star chakra here because by you merging and connecting with the divine, you are kind of giving over the pain, the heaviness that you're holding on to for spirit to help you to clear this, okay? To help you to clear this. Um, we have a significant life event and it says a powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings, okay? So there is change that is happening here for you, pile number two. There is something here with that eight of cups that you will either needing to be shift away from, walk away from, let go of, whether that is a person, a situation, um, like I said, the eight of cups is really about the journey, setting out on a journey of self-discovering, finding out who you are, what you want, what you love, what you desire, um, what it is that you need in your life. Okay. And I am feeling that your intuition is going to be your best friend with this. So truly tapping into your intuition, listening to what it is that your soul is guiding you to do. Your intuition is leading you towards, okay, is the message here for you. So let's move into our oracle messages, pile number two. What messages are meant to find you at this time? Some of you may even still be healing like from a breakup or some type of separation. Okay. And this is time for a new beginning. Okay. Time for a new beginning. Let's see. Pile number two. We have Kuan Yin and it says care and compassion. Choose to be love. Do what is right for everyone involved and offer a helping hand. Okay. So we have Kuan Yin here. And Kuan Yin is all about uh, love, compassion, empathy, 
Um, and first and foremost, that has to be for yourself, right? Making sure that you are caring for yourself. Um, you're choosing to be in the energy of love, right? Choosing to be in the energy of unconditional love versus holding on to any uh, resentment, anger, conflict, anything that may uh, you cur could currently be going through. Okay, and it can even be a time for you to maybe even help another person, you know, the, a friend, a family member um, in your life who may be feeling challenged, who is struggling. So with this soul, soul star chakra here, this, like I said, is finding that interconnectedness with everyone. Okay, you're finding that connection with everyone in your life. And choosing to look through the lens, the eyes of love, right? We're all on a journey. Some of us may feel like we know what we're doing. We know where we're going. And some of us feel lost. We're all in this together. Okay. We're all doing our own thing. We're all doing our own journey. We all have lessons to learn. And this is about you really kind of moving yourself into that very loving energy, especially with the queen of cups here as well. Um, the queen of cups is a very empathic, loving, nurturing, tender, beautiful uh, energy, okay? And so this says relationships develops to a new level. Trust your intuition and also care for yourself and others, okay? So like I said, a very nurturing energy. So what messages are meant to find you? Pile number two. We also have Saint Germain and it says karma releasing. Move beyond drama Create your own path and make room for good energy, okay? So like I said, for some of you, it could be letting go of something. And it could be that maybe it has been difficult to move on from something or to let something go or to let go of an old way of thinking. But this is you clearing this karma, okay? This is you creating space and, and time um, in your life for new, for better, for um, more positive energy, right? more positive um, influences or connections with people within your life, okay? So let's see what else pile number two, what messages is pile number two meant to hear? We have Amber and it says, give it to God. And it says, take a deep breath and on the exhale, release this situation to God for healing and answers. Okay, so like I said, some of you are going through maybe something painful. Okay, something challenging. And this is Spirit really wanting you to give it to them. The pain, the heartache, whatever this is that you're holding on to. Okay, conflicting thoughts, self-sabotaging thoughts. Um, give it to Spirit. Okay, so that you're not holding on to this. You're not carrying this okay i'm also seeing a lot of uh healing here in this energy as well so let's see what messages are meant to find pile number two what messages are they needing to hear we've got yellow jasper control issues and it says utilize your god given strength and power instead of fearing that others may try to control you okay so really this is really spirit saying that you're needing to step into your power. You're needing to reclaim your power from a person, a situation, so that you're no longer giving it over to, you know, someone else. Okay? We're not being controlled by external uh, things that are happening outside of us, the things that we cannot control. Okay? So this is you finding your power from within, reclaiming it. We also have Opal. And it says, let yourself sparkle and shine. You are guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world. Okay. So this is really spirit wanting you to kind of, like I said, step into the best, uh, most authentic version of you. Okay. So let's see what else pile number two, what messages are meant to find you. We have be honest with yourself. And it says, look into your heart and you will know the truth of the situation. It's safe to admit the truth to yourself, for we will support you and guide you through any necessary changes. 
Lean upon us for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires and they'll come to you upon angels' wings. Okay? So this is Spirit saying that, you know, some of you may be needing to be honest with yourself about a situation. And that could be, am I happy? Am I happy where am I at? Am I happy dealing with this person? Am I happy dealing with this situation? Right? This is really Spirit with that tower energy. For some of you, it can be a wake-up call. Okay? How you've been holding yourself back. How maybe some... Uh, unresolved karmic issues or situations or relationships cycles have held you back okay so let's see what else what messages are meant to find pile number two we have what do you desire and it says you now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you are ready and deserving of them, they'll rush into your life as if by magic. Okay. Um, so with this message, this is also you realizing your worth, your worthiness to happiness, to love, to abundance, um, and to anything that you are really wanting within your life. Okay. What messages... We have focus on service. And it says your soul desire is only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. This stream consciously feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in this stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. Okay. So creating that um, energy of reciprocity with the universe, right? We're putting out you know, care, love, compassion, empathy towards other people so that we may receive that same energy um, in return. So what messages? We have be strong with Sekhmet. And it says you are stronger than you think you are and your strength assures a happy outcome. What messages is Pal 2 meant to hear? We also have Goddess Hathor. And it says, look at that, allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, your energy, and your ability to give to others. Okay? So listening to your intuition. Let's see, what else? Allow yourself to receive, right? Sometimes those heavier feelings, conflicting thoughts, uh, challenging energy that we're holding on to can keep us in a place where we are blocking ourselves from receiving love, from receiving abundance, from receiving clarity, okay? So this is really you kind of finding that balance within yourself. Um, we also have Ishtar with boundaries. And it says, love yourself to say, love yourself enough to say no to others. Demands on your time and energy, okay? So that can be a need for you setting better boundaries with people um, that you're currently dealing with or situations that you're dealing with. Um, you know, sometimes we have to say no, we have to really focus on ourself, right? Especially if we have a tendency to kind of give our energy to others all the time, right? This is a need for setting those, uh, boundaries. So let's see what else pile two, what messages are meant to find you at this time? We have love. Okay, so lots of messages here about love, about compassion, about empathy. Like I said, the Queen of Cups energy is um, love, compassion. Um, this is also about emotional balance, emotional stability, right? So if many of you may be healing your heart, you are healing and releasing these so that you can truly move into that Queen of Cups energy, right? Because for some of you, a lot of this heart-heavy energy or even challenged energy that you have could potentially be blocking your intuition. Okay. Could be blocking your intuition. Um, let's see what messages are meant to find you pile number. We also have forgiveness. Okay. So some of you, this can be connected to a past connection relationship. Okay. There's something that you're needing to work on forgiving here. 
so that you are able to release. Those of you that are kind of looking for love, your soulmate, um, your divine counterpart, right? You're really needing to kind of find that love and that nurturing energy within the self so that you were able to align yourself energetically with your person, okay? With the person that you were truly meant to be with, okay? So by you working through your own healing, your own energy, you are elevating your vibration. You're raising your vibration, your own frequency, so that you are then able to attract partners that are going to bring in a higher vibrational connection for you, okay? But yes, we have forgiveness here. So this could be some of you needing to forgive someone, something, a situation, forgive yourself, forgive others, right? Because this is spirit wanting you to focus on that energy of, of Kuan Yin, compassion, care, love, nurturing, okay? Let's see. We have balance here and it says, take time to relax. Indulge a little more or less. Set boundaries with your work. Okay. Now, those of you may be feeling like you're overworking or you're doing too much, um, you know, spreading yourself thin. This can be a need for you to kind of find that balance uh, from within the self. Okay. We also have growth here and it says seek out a mentor or a guide. Take baby steps as you grow and be willing to learn from others. Okay, be willing to learn from other people. Um, and then we've got your last messages here for you, pile number two. We have the goddess of compassion. Yeah, so your whole, like a lot of your energy here has been about compassion, love. And I feel like you're finding that within yourself. You're learning to love yourself, right? Learning to truly love yourself. We have the goddess of compassion and it says self-criticism is diminish, diminishing your sense of self-worth. Okay? Self-criticism, which is when we put ourselves down, that is that five of swords right there, is diminishing your sense of self-worth. So you can feel an unworthiness to, like I said, love. To those of you that have gone through something painful with a past partner that, that has been removed out of your life, you could feel really low. You could feel really sad. You could feel really disappointed. You know, but this is really spirit saying that by you putting yourself down and kind of feeling, you know, I'm not good enough. No one loves me, whatever that may be. When we put ourselves down that way, that takes away from us, right? It makes us feel unworthy with many different things in our life. It could be with a job. It could be with money. It could be with new love. It could be anything that we're really wanting where we feel, you know, in a lower vibration. Okay. So let's see what else. What messages? We also have goddess of the shadows. And it says what you perceive to be your dark side holds a hidden treasure. Okay. So this is really speaking about the shadow aspect of the self. Right. A lot of our shadow can teach us a lot about ourself. And our shadow can be many different negative qualities that we have. Right. They can be jealousy, envy, um, irrational fears, insecurities, um, uh, d d emotional detachment, all of these things. So what thing that you may perceive as, you know, um, a negative about yourself, this is really spirit saying that there are gifts hidden within that. And it may be that you need to spend a little bit more time doing some shadow work to kind of find how can I learn from these shadow energies that are trying to emerge in my life at this time. Okay. So this is where spirit is saying, maybe for some of you exploring the shadow, exploring, exploring your shadow self. Okay. Because the shadow self, shadow part of us is just as much a part of us as our light side. Right. So this is the need for you to find that balance between both your dark and your light energies and not allowing yourself to kind of be overcome by too much shadow or too much light, right? Where we, we kind of walk around and pretend like everything is perfect and it's all love and light. It's not really like that, right? We're needing to find that balance between both the dark and the light within us because we are both, okay? So let's see. 
We also have the angel of guidance and it says a renewed sense of direction and purpose will soon manifest. So those of you that are feeling kind of lost and not really knowing what am I doing? Where am I going? What's next? This is spirit saying that there are going to be messages that are brought into you. Some of you, it could be that tower moment. That could be your awakening, your realization, your epiphany, that little shake up that spirit gives to you to help you get redirected on your path. Balance is something that's going to be very important for you and to kind of find that balance from within the self. Okay. We're, we're letting go of any of the things that we're holding on to. Forgiveness is something very important here so that you are elevating your vibration. Love is also the highest vibration. So when we can really align ourselves with the energy of love, unconditional love, love for ourselves first and foremost, and love for other others, right? Because your, your energy here is about that interconnectedness with others. Okay, so this can be changing your perception, especially when it comes to friendships, certain family connections, that you are beginning to change your view on people that may have hurt you from the past. This is holding forgiveness in your heart, right? Because when we're holding on to all this stuff, we are the ones that end up suffering, right? Maybe not necessarily the other person, but we hold on to that heavy energy. And that is what keeps us in a lower vibrational state. So this is really spirit wanting you to focus on finding that, merging that your energy with the divine, helping to elevate your energy into that of unconditional love so that you feel a sense of worthiness and openness and receptivity to all that you are willing and wanting to manifest into your life because you are worthy of it. Okay, you are worthy of it. So this guidance coming in for you, it says again, a renewed sense of direction and purpose will soon manifest. So this is the clarity with this Ace of Swords here that you will be receiving from your spirit guides, angels, ancestors, God, spirit, universe, Mother Earth, Gaia, whatever you connect with, this clarity, this epiphany is going to be coming in for you. Okay, so that you truly feel where am I being guided to journey to next along my path. So things start to kind of fall into place and to make sense and you gain the clarity that you need. So you see your path clearly. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here for you. Pile number two. I hope this was helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pile three. So for those of you that chose this gorgeous amethyst crystal, this is going to be your reading today and we're asking spirit what are the messages that are meant to find you today? What do you need to know right now? So I've pulled this Oracle card um, for you guys. We're going to get started with this and then we'll move into our tarot and then pull the rest of our Oracle messages for your pile. So this message here, we have card 47, which says stepping through. Okay, stepping through. And I'm seeing that she's kind of coming out of this beautiful lotus flower. Okay, so this is really telling me a lot about you. Some of you may have been going through some, some dark periods in your life or maybe even going through some really profound transformation that you're feeling that's kind of happening within you. And it almost looks like she's kind of dancing with it. So it's kind of like your spirit guides. Um, some of you may be sitting... Um, Wow, this looks like a little, a little bird. Almost looks like a hummingbird. It could be a hummingbird, but um, we have butterflies here. So there's a lot of transformation that is taking place within you as well. Um, and all of this, like I said, all of this beautiful, magical energy that's kind of coming out of her. So this card stepping through, I'm going to kind of read a little bit of this message because there's a very important message for those of you guys that chose this pile. And this is from the Beyond Lemuria oracle deck very beautiful so 47 stepping through this one says follow your heart dream big stepping through something that has been holding you back the threshold starting new projects belief in the self knowing that it is all possible the road less traveled and trust so it says step in and step up all those dreams or projects you have been putting off now is the time to start even if it is just one small element of a bigger picture, although just do it has been coined by a commercial brand. It is one of 
a, a very fundamental mantra. We will always have a myriad of reasons of why today isn't the day, but remember, opportunity dances with those already on the dance floor. Um, and it says, when you start something, talk about it, take consistent steps to actualize it, and you will see it take on a momentum of its own. The right people, places, and opportunities will magnetize, and it will start to come together. Don't be afraid to fail. The success we see around us has come from perseverance. Falling and getting back up again is part of our journey. Focus your energies and commit to seeing your vision become a reality. You are human, so set reasonable expectations and know that when you apply yourself, you can make amazing things happen. Building a dream can seem overwhelming, but if you break it down and make a plan, you will gracefully find your way through. Okay, so very beautiful message for you, uh, pile number three. So let's go into your tarot now and see what messages you are meant to hear. What messages are meant to find you today? Pile number three, what messages are you meant to hear at this time? We have the Empress. Wow, look at that. It says, lavish abundance, give birth to your dreams, nurture yourself and others. We also have the Six of Earth, which is the Six of Pentacles in reverse. We also have the Three of Air, which is the Three of Swords. What messages? We also have the Three of Pentacles in reverse as well. And then we have the Three of Cups, the Three of Water. And then our last message we have is the Four of Earth. Okay. Four of Pentacles. Okay, so I am feeling that there is a little bit of blockage here. I am seeing the Five of Swords as your overall, overall energy, which makes sense because your card of stepping through is about you letting go. And of those maybe self-limiting beliefs that you have or procrastination something that has been holding you back. This is spirit kind of wanting you to cross over the threshold of this way of thinking. The five of swords energy can be self-sabotage, okay? This can be when we have a lot of conflicting thoughts in our mind and we feel very defeated in life, right? We feel like no matter what we try to do, it's just not working, it's not gonna come together. So this is a whole mindset that can block us from being able to progress along our path, okay? And I noticed that the first card that you had come out was the Empress, okay? So regardless of your gender, the Empress is our feminine energy within the self. The Empress uh, energy or the feminine energy is all about intuition, creativity, birthing new ideas, um, our, our intuition, manifestation, prosperity, abundance, Okay, so if your overall energy here is the five of swords, this can be a lack of belief in yourself to be able to manifest the things that you really want in life. And I'm seeing that you do have the six of pentacles in reverse here as well. And that six of pentacles in reverse could be that there is something within your life that is kind of out of balance. Okay, something that's out of balance here. And this could even be that you are, um, for some of you, not putting forth the energy to um, kind of manifest something in, okay? Let's just say that you have this thought and there's something that you want. Let's just say you want a new apartment, you want to move, you want a new job, and you have thoughts about it, but you don't take any action towards it, Okay? So that six of pentacles would be the need for you to kind of bring your energy into balance and really start to be more confident in yourself, okay? The empress is about nurturing, it's about love, it's about self-care, it's about your self-worth, knowing what your value is, your worthiness to abundance, your worthiness to 
unconditional love, right? So there is a need for nurturing yourself so that you can bring yourself up to that energy of feeling, I can do anything. I have the power to create. I have the power to manifest. I'm worthy of abundance. I'm worthy of love. I'm worthy of all of these things, okay? So with the six of pentacles in reverse, this can be a need for you, like I said, to balance out your energy and to make sure that you are keeping yourself in a state that is open and receptive to the universe kind of bringing these opportunities for you, aligning things in for yourself. With the three of swords energy here, for some of you, I can feel that this could potentially be some type of disappointment that you may have felt recently um, in the recent past, um, some of you could be going through a separation, a breakup, or kind of be dealing with some type of disappointment that you're feeling. And that could be disappointment with your past, disappointment with the way that your life is kind of going and kind of wanting to kind of break yourself free from that type of energy. I am feeling the need here with the three of pentacles in reverse, that this is going to be a need for you to kind of really secure a solid foundation for yourself. And it could mean that you are needing to connect with other people. You're needing to network. You're needing to do some research. You're needing to, you know, kind of um, think about what skills you have and what talents you have and put them, I feel like, to work for yourself, okay? Because the three of pentacles in reverse is speaking about a lack of balance that is here. Um, sometimes it's not wanting to connect with other people, not wanting to uh, even take advice or guidance from another person, right? Um, it can even be envying other another person's success and not realizing that you have the power to be able to gain just that same success or even better within your own life, right? So this is all about you finding your power within yourself. And I feel like with the Empress energy here, many of you are very creative, you're very intuitive, and you have the power to be able to move past any of the limitations that could currently be blocking you, right? This is you finding out, yes, you have the worthiness and um, the ability to manifest love, prosperity, abundance, um, anything that you're really wanting within your life, okay? So that Three of Pentacles in reverse can be a need to you know, maybe even take more accountability, right? For certain decisions, certain choices. Um, we have the four of pentacles here, the four of earth. And it says being too frivolous or too cautious with money, good business decisions and giving to those less fortunate. With the four of pentacles energy, kind of with the surrounding energy here, I'm feeling that this is stagnancy. Okay. And there could be certain fears that you have about taking a certain risk with doing something, right? Investing in something or doing something that is kind of outside of your comfort zone. Now we do also have the three of cups energy here as well. Um, for some of you, this can be a need for you to connect with other people, right? Um, because the three of cups is talking about joy and happiness and celebration and, you know, spending time with other people. And this can be connecting with other people to uh, help kind of get those creative juices flowing, right? But this is also spirit wanting you to be open to when another person gives you advice or guidance or is, you know, maybe even trying to mentor you in some way. Be open to it, right? Because that could be something that really kind of helps you to break yourself free from this way of thinking. Okay, so there is a need, like I said, to kind of balance out your energy here, stabilize your energy. Um, for some of you, it can even be if you are someone, and this may only be for one of you that I'm getting this message for, but some of you uh, could be in a situation where there is an imbalance between the give and take, meaning that you could be someone who gives way too much of yourself and you're getting nothing in return. And that could be put energy put towards a relationship, a job, uh, you know, a friendship, or you could be on the other end of the other side of that where you are someone who are constantly asking for help from other people, where you are constantly taking and taking and taking, right? So there's a need for that reciprocity. There is a need for equal give and take, okay? So that may be something that you're needing to focus on here um, 
as well. So we do have Taurus energy here, okay, coming through. We also have Libra, Taurus and Libra coming through the strongest with this pile. Um, and we also have uh, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, and we also have uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So let's get some other messages here for you, pile number three. What messages are you meant to hear at this time? We have Melchizedek with higher learning. And it says you have learned from experience. More inner study is now required to further progress. Okay. So this could be really uh, looking, reflecting within yourself because you've already, you know, kind of learned so much within your lifetime. You are kind of putting that, what you've learned from past mistakes, challenges, um, positive choices that you made for yourself. And you're taking in all of that information, but this is also Spirit saying more inner study is now required in order for you to further progress along your path, right? Which means that you're spending time in reflection, right? You're not looking outside of yourself for answers. Those answers are going to be found within you. So what messages are meant to find you? Pile number three. We have Lord Ganesh with infinite abundance and it says obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. Okay. So by you, because your main energy focus here is this stepping through here. Okay. By you stepping out of this five of swords energy, um, even this four of pentacles, which can create stagnancy, right? When you're breaking through of this energy here, you're removing those blockages that you may have to that abundance, to love, to anything that you're willing to man or wanting to manifest into your life. Okay. So blockages being removed with abundance, but the action required on your part to let go of those old ways of behavior that maybe have not served your highest good or have kept you stuck. For some of you for many years with not being able to truly live your dream or live your purpose or really, you know, um, increase, say, the quality of your life. Okay. So what messages are meant to find you, pile three? Wow. We've got shower of abundance here. And it says to heal your financial situation, first give us your worries concerning money. We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. As we work together, your financial situation will heal as fast as you'll allow. Okay. The four of pentacles energy can also be when we are holding on to something very tight. And that could even mean for some of you that money is tight, right? That you're kind of holding on to money or that you're afraid to, to spend a little of that money in order to get something done that you really need to get done, right? You could be afraid. Oh, well, if I spend... You know, let's just say you've got $50 left in your account and you're like, okay, well, if I spend 25 of that, I need this $25 to, you know, um, I don't know, to create some new project, but you're afraid to spend that money, right? Even though knowing that that $25 that you spend could double, triple, quadruple with the plan that you have, right? But it's kind of like when we feel so scared and so afraid to leave the comfort zone, to leave what is familiar to us, that we're afraid to kind of step into our power here. So you have these cards of abundance, both of them here, right? So I, I feel like a lot of this energy here is about you truly stepping into your power here. You truly realizing that you are the empress. You do have the potential to manifest whatever it is that you're wanting in your life, right? You just have to believe in yourself. What messages are meant to find? Pile number three at this time, right? So we're letting go of the lack mentality, right? Letting it go. We have new partner here and it says a chance meeting is no mistake. It is divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion for the fruition of your prayers. Pay careful attention to new people we send into your life. 
you will recognize them by your sense of familiarity, comfort, and safety. Okay, so this could be for some of you a new romantic partner, it could be a new friend, um, a new love interest, a co-worker, somebody that's kind of coming into your life that is going to serve as a catalyst for you to maybe even help you to change your, your energy, right? To breaking free from the old patterns of behavior and stepping into the new you. What messages are meant to find pile number three? So pay attention to the new people coming in. We also have family here. And it says the situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member, which we can help you to understand and heal. In your mind and heart, surround this person, yourself, and the experience with calming blue light and many angels. Be open to the gifts within the situation and allow yourself to feel peace. Now, for some of you, you know, this could have to do with love. It can have to do with money. Um, the lack mentality could have been something that has been passed down through generations within your lineage. Um, or some of you could also have an emotional experience that's tied into a family member, right? And this is about you healing through that so that you're able to release whatever this blockage is, which could be affecting your self-worth, um, the self-love that you have for yourself, your confidence in yourself, okay? So we're really kind of nurturing whatever that wound may be that's there so that you are able to better understand maybe the family dynamics, um, the person, a family member, um, or even it could be a loved one, you know, whoever it may be that you have in your life where this is spirit saying that there's something that needs to be healed here. And I'm feeling that by you healing and clearing this, it is going to help to remove those blockages with abundance. So some of you, it could even be that you have... Um, like karmic blockages with when it comes to abundance because maybe for some of you generation after generation after generation has been where that lack mentality right not feeling good enough not feeling worthy enough not feeling you know be, being able to kind of truly step into your manifestation power right so you being able to heal this ancestral cycle is i feel like going to open up those blockages that you may currently have to abundance or to your power in manifesting anything that you're really wanting to within your life. So let's see what else, what messages are meant to find you. We have uh, cycles and rhythms, and it says honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and your emotions. Okay, so this can also be paying attention, listening to your body, right? Does it need more water? Does it need healthier food? Does it need more fresh fruits and vegetables? Does it need, you know, um, you know, so many people are on so many different diets. You do what feels good for you, right? And if you're feeling like the food that you're eating um, is not really giving you the energy that you need, right? That could be a sign for you to kind of change things up a little bit and maybe, you know, eat more greens, eat more fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, some of you may be feeling called to go vegan or to do, you know, many different types of, of things that work for you, right? Not what everyone else is doing, but what works for you. Um, it could even be like if you feel lethargic, you feel tired, you feel fatigued, right? It could be getting those energy levels up. It could be making sure that you are taking the proper um, vitamins or supplementation that you might be needing, um, any feelings and emotions that you have coming to the surface, honor them, okay? Allow yourself to feel them so that you can heal them and release them. We also have a golden opportunity here, and it says important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them, okay? So again, crossing the threshold, you're letting go of the old ways of thinking that have held you back, right? Lack mentality, lack of belief in the self, lack of confidence. This is you kind of letting that old self go and stepping into the new you that is abundant, that is prosperous, that is uh, worthy of unconditional love, that is worthy of finding, you know, someone in your life who is matching your vibration and your energy and understands you and loves you and cares for you or, you know, uh, your career a career that aligns with you, right? Whatever that may be. So let's see. 
We also have Artemis here with the Guardian, and it says you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. Okay, so let's see. What messages for pile three? We have, wow, two messages about spiritual protection here. And it says you are being watched over and protected physically, emotionally, and energetically. Okay, which is beautiful. Let's see, what else? Pile number three. We have citrine. Wow, I'm noticing that you guys have a lot of this purples, purples energy here. Um, we have unnecessary worries, and it says release the burden of worries by giving them to God for healing and solutions. Okay, so we're letting go of a lot of the anxiety, the fears, the worries that we have about the future, right? Releasing them, handing it over to spirit, God, universe. We also have ceremonies and celebrations. It's a time of important life passages, such as weddings, birthdays, graduations, and anniversaries. And you guys got that message under here as well with the Three of Cups, okay? This is also, like I said, for some of you, a need for you to connect with others, okay? Some of you may be shutting yourself out from other people. You could have a tendency to be very introverted for some of you or to, you know, spend a lot of time on your own alone, which is nice at times, but sometimes we need that interaction with others, okay? So this can be a need for also bringing about more fun, doing more fun things into your life, engaging with others, spending time with family. We have family here, right? And we have this actually like two women that are here and they have all of these children and babies around, right? So some of you may even have children, grandchildren, um, your own children, other family members, nieces, nephews, right? Cousins and things like that that you're needing to spend more time with because the three of cups is about happiness, joy, celebration. You have ceremonies and celebrations here as well. So this is really about you celebrating your life, doing things that bring joy, doing things that bring happiness, right? And so those of you that have a tendency to kind of shut yourself off from other people, this is a need for you to find that connection with others, right? To form meaningful, healthy uh, bonds, and connections with people, okay? So I am seeing that for uh, some of you with that as well. So let's see what messages are meant to find you, right? Start enjoying your family, spending time with them. We have empathy here, and look at this, family time again, right? So this is really Spirit saying, you need to spend more time with family, those of you that have been separating yourself, if there is healing that needs to happen, right? Especially with this message here that says the situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member. That could be mom, dad, brother, sister, something in the family dynamic that is unbalanced, right? This is a need for you to really change perspective here to heal that relationship, to heal that connection, that bond, if you're able to, right? And to really uh, help that bond that you might have with that family member or family members, right? Forgiveness, forgiving yourself, forgiving another person. Um, communicating, right, can go a long way, right? You being open, you being honest, you... Talking about your own feelings, allowing another family member to express their own feelings, right? So yeah, family time here is a big message coming through for you, right? And so to me, this is all of that nurturing love. Some of you with that empress energy could be a mother, right? Your own children or um, a need for, for nurturing, right? A need for mothering, a need for... Uh, for some of you, even healing your bond with your relationship with your mother or with if you are a mother and you have children, healing that relationship with them as well. Okay, we have empathy here as well. And so with the emperor empathy, um, this is for you to change into more of that empress energy. We're being em um, empathic, caring, compassionate towards others. Right. We're showing others that we care and that we're there and that we're there for support and for love, you know, um, which is what I'm seeing here. So let's see what else. Wow, 
pile number three. Look at that compassion. It says, be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free and see the light in yourself and others. Okay. So lots of very beautiful energy coming through, right? This could be healing your feminine energy as well. For some of you healing that feminine, right? We also have strength and it says the challenge will make you stronger. You will get through to the other side. Look for the gifts in the situation, which is what you're learning from some more challenging, difficult situations that you've been going through. Look for the silver lining. Okay. What did I learn from this situation? What has this situation taught me? What have my life choices taught me? Right. We have intention here and it says be clear and decisive. Focus on what you really want. Be bold with your request to the universe. So if we're setting the intention for something that we are manifesting, we also have to be not only bold enough to speak what it is that we want into existence, but this is also about being bold enough to go after it, right? To pursue it, to put forth the action. So this stepping through here is you stepping into this new version of you where you're no longer keeping yourself held back by procrastination, by self-sabotaging thoughts, by saying, oh no, it's not time yet. I'm going to do it later. I'm going to do it later. I'm going to do it next week. I'm going to do it next month. It's not time yet. Enough of that, right? That's really what spirit is saying here. Okay. So that you can really kind of get yourself to that next level of where you're truly meant to be. So we have goddess of justice and it says what seems an injustice is actually a blessing. Okay. So if there's something that you've gone through, something that you've recently gone through or something that's happened to you, things that you've gone through in life and you feel like, you know what, this is really crappy. This is, you know, for some of you, you could feel like I've had such a hard, difficult, challenging life, right? I've had a difficult situation with this person, or this is totally unfair. You know, I, I feel like this is so wrong, right? This is spirit saying what seems like it's an injustice is actually a blessing for you. And it may not be that you see it right now, but there is a, a larger blessing that is going to be revealed to you through those challenges that you faced, whether currently in the past, right? That you are going to be able to see what that blessing is, right? You are going to be able to find that balance within yourself so that it is something that is being reflecting outwards. We also have the angel of emergence and it says it is time for the real you to emerge. Okay. Not the you that is conditioned by self-limiting beliefs, uh, any blockages from the past, right? Uh, letting go of any victim mentality, letting go of any, uh, ties that we have to an old story right? Our old self, right? We're letting that go and we are emerging our true self in this uh, energy. Let's get your last messages. Pile number three. We have the angel of pleasure and it says, take pleasure in the things that you do. Okay. So if there's something, a job or whatever it may be, this is spirit wanting you to make sure that what you're doing right now is something that brings you joy, is something that makes you feel completely fulfilled and happy. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here for you. Pile number three. I hope this was helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading.